I'm Melissa with Melissa Seven Deadly Seeds, and um, today I'm going to eat the Dragon's Breath pepper that was in my box of goodies from Tom Room. Uh, he's with the Serious Hot Peppers. Um, the information stuff will be down below. I do not have his business card here at the table, and I'm only going to do this one time. So this, again, these are so cool because they look like little roses. I am kind of scared to taste this one, but the reds are, I mean, the flavor is not as bad as those chocolates. I'm kind of holding off on that one because chocolate, anything, pepper, yeah, no. So, all right, here we go. This one's, oh my goodness, this is gonna be hot. Holy moly, I can smell it. I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. Oof. I'm making this fast because uh, I'm scared. And okay, hopefully <laughs> it is so hard for that first initial. Okay, here we go. It's supposed to be 2.48 million on the Scoville. Not proven yet. Okay. I don't know why these take forever to... Mm. I just try not to think about it, the seeds. Okay, so far, it's a mellow heat, but these usually end up really heating up. Okay, so then I'm gonna roll my tongue. Woo. Okay, so, ooh, so now the heat is starting to kick up. Okay, so this is supposed to be hotter than the Carolina Reaper pepper, but it's not proven to the Guinness Book of World Records. They don't recognize it. They still say the Carolina Reaper is. Sorry, I gotta make sure there's no seeds hanging out in the mouth. Okay, so now it's all over my tongue. Oh, I do have milk, but I try to avoid it. No pineapple. Um, the flavor was definitely, it was on the earth's, earthy side. But not nothing will compare to the to chocolates. That one definitely. Whew. Okay, so it's starting to sneak up. Oh my gosh. That's burning. Okay, so my eyes are starting to water. Whew. It's kind of just staying at my tongue. Okay, anyways, so I got a package from Tom Broom. Um, he makes very yummy tasting tinctures. So this one you've seen Johnny Scoville do a gusher on. I'm not sure yet if I'm brave enough to do those. This is very good. Um, it definitely has a very citrusy taste to it. Um, the smell is definitely lemony. It's a clean, it has a clean, refreshing uh, smell to it. You'd almost think it was like an essential oil, but this is better. Okay, so the heat is not as bad as I was intending or expecting. Definitely that chocolate primatelli, that one beats this one. Oh, it just feels like, it's almost like that, that 
lidocaine when you get the injection when you go in for dental work. That's what that initial poke and that kind of pins and needle feeling as it's in there. That's kind of that's kind of how my tongue feels. But sometimes it, it, you get in here. Ooh. But mostly it's it's right in the middle of my tongue. I thought my nose was actually gonna get like dump out. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's hot. So, anyways, um, I haven't done the killer yellow pepper just yet. I've kind of kind of spaced myself out a little bit with the peppers. I'm still all new to this, and you know, I don't eat it on a daily basis. I do like hot stuff. Today I was packaging up my little seasonings that for each flavor. So with my hot sauce groomer, I did start out um, with a bunch of hot sauces. Um, some may do well, some may not, but um, I have, I, I still can't stop I, I keep having to make more flavors. It's like, oh, I've got this idea. I gotta write this down, do it this way. Right now, I'll stick with what I have um, and um, hope that, you know, I get I get actual sales on those ones. But so far, everybody, there's been, you know, somebody who doesn't like the pineapple one, likes the Rim Ripper, and somebody with the Rim Ripper may not like the, so. Um, it caters to everybody, so everybody with a flavor. Those who like bitter or, you know, not so sweet hot sauces, I have one for them. I have one for, you know, teriyaki and steak and eggs and, oh, excuse me. Whew. I even have one for fish. So my hot sauces were not intended to be known for the gut-wrenching, vomiting, you know, fire breathing buttholes um but um for flavor i want flavor when i have something i mean i, I as a cook you kind of want to create a dish that somebody's not going to need to alter like putting salt and pepper or you know um, some other kind of dressing like hot sauce or whatever that is your goal is to make sure you make a dish that is you know, palatable. But with that, even with, sometimes you need an accent. It, it's not that I don't know how to cook. It's just, I might want a, a, to change it, but without changing it. So like adding a hot sauce or something to it. Oh, okay. So now my nose. <laughs> I feel, oh. Okay, so. Right now, it doesn't really feel like 2.48. Who knows? Maybe I got the pepper wrong, <laughs> but I doubt it. Because um, I did research on those. And I think it's cool because, you know, dragon's breath. If you can't tell. I like, <laughs> I like dragons. I'm rare like a dragon. Not a unicorn. I'm a dragon. Um, uh, with my hot sauce, too. So, this is the label. Yes, I have my own barcode. And the nutrition label. This one is my favorite one. This is the cherry apricot. That one I really do put on everything. It, it, this probably could go on a, like a pie too. It's, yeah, that's my favorite one. Um, I do um, have it seems like a fruit in almost each each and every sauce. Um, I can't have berries, um, so I have to be creative with other fruits to have and stuff. So I, you know, I kind of come up with these odd pears, but hey, chefs and cooks and stuff do it all the time. Um, right now, my tongue... It no longer stings, but I do have, it almost feels like it's down in here now. But I 
don't feel the kick like I have with other the other peppers. I'd almost blame it on getting COVID, but I can still taste. Maybe that would come in handy <laughs> for eating the chocolate pepper. Those are the ones. Those, those are, yeah, those are nasty. Anyways, um, I really don't feel like that affected me like the others. I am going to stop recording because I really just going to ramble otherwise. It is Saturday and um, today was the first day in a very long time I did not have to work on Saturday so it kind of feels kind of weird. I have, it's not even one o'clock yet and I still have a lot to do and I think I could get all my stuff done today. Anyways, uh, I hit 200 subscribers. It's really exciting because it's not anything that I was expecting. Um, I do have new followers, you know, on a regular basis and then I do lose some. Heck, if, you know, if it's something that I'm not, I wouldn't want to subscribe either. But um, I will have other information and stuff about Tom Broome, his peppers. They're awesome. I'm not the only one who gets to, to have the opportunity to eat the peppers. I know I am one of the few that have uh, tasted the killer yellow pepper, the yellow primatelli. Um, so I'm very honored and I, I will be doing that probably tomorrow um, once I get the whole courage built up because so far my tastes with his heat level and stuff we're kind of I mean he can handle a lot more than me don't get me wrong I'm not gonna go eat like 10 of those things because I can do a max of two at this time maybe until when I start like getting my heat tolerance built back up I probably can um but right now I don't want to jump into it and kind of yeah, not I don't I don't want to mess my myself up. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned cuz I will be posting the yellow primatelli, the killer yellow from Tom Broom. And I can't wait to once he perfects this. He's he's been at three generations of this pepper now and you know, he as you, you can see on his his page, um he's very dedicated and um I look forward to him uh, coming up with this this pepper that he he had created, and I hope that you know it gets the it gets the publicity and stuff that it needs. So, anyways, thanks again, Tom Broom, for that wonderful box of peppers, and I'll put your information down so other people can get the opportunity to uh, see what you got to offer. Um, I'm signing off, Melissa with Militia Seven Deadly Seeds, and check out my website, sevendeadlyseeds.com. If there's any issues, please comment. Technology, it you know, it crashes, it doesn't crash. It's anyways questions feel free to email me at seven deadly seeds at gmail.com that's seven with you know the numerical number seven um again seven deadly seeds.com and i'm signing off thank you